Hello Disney friends, my name is Haley. I hope that you're doing well. It's time to share my final thoughts of the Disney College program. I wanted to wait just a few months after my program to share my final thoughts. I needed to let the magic fade away and face reality before I could gather my thoughts on it. Such a great experience, such like I just get like emotional thinking about just all the fun that I had and all the stuff that I learned. Truly incredible. So today I'm going to be sharing my honest thoughts. My goal of this channel has forever been to be honest and truthful. I am honestly speaking to you now and I do not speak for the brand or the company. This is just my experience that I had on the Disney College program from June 19th to January 5th, 2023. What a ride. <laughs> I would also like to preface that the Disney College program changes a lot. So if you're joining the college program soon, congratulations. But just know that some of the things I may be mentioning or describing or some of the classes that I talk about may not be offered whenever you're on your program. So just know this was my experience and it may be different for you. Now with that said, I found the Disney College program through YouTube. So all of my videos, I tried to sh truly show what it's like and I'll have them linked down below if you're interested. Cause a lot of the videos seemed a lot like older. So I wanted to show what it was currently like. And I do have to say, and I mentioned this in another video as well, I have very bad anxiety. And throughout like the beginning, like middle of my program, I. I would consider it to be like mental health ups and downs and things, just like stress and all of that. Um, so I kind of had a rough start out to my college program experience. Personally, this was my thoughts. Whenever I got to the program, I'm like, everyone here is passionate about Disney, maybe wants to work for Disney in the future, like super just immersive time. Like everyone's kind of like together in it. What really threw me off is majority of the people that were there had already graduated, which is chill. Um, but they were all out like partying and celebrating. Like this was just like a field trip to them. And I was taking this so seriously. Like this was like my dream to work at Walt Disney World. Like the moment I'd worked to my whole life and there were people out just like partying the night away. And I was like, what? Some people are just there to party, I guess. But that's not who I am. So that's not how I enjoyed my college program, but that's how some people do it. And Hopefully sharing that information with you now kind of gives you that heads up too. I mentioned before, I did the Disney College program, not only to, to fulfill my dreams of working at Walt Disney World, but to, to learn about the company I admire so much and that I still hope to work for one day. My dream is to work for Disney, period. <laughs> I dream of being a Walt Disney Imagineer, if not having some sort of contributions to Disney parks and the guest experience is the dream, the goal. And this program did not ruin the magic for me, for me whatsoever. But because I aspire so much to be a part of that, nothing could have ruined it for me because I want to make the magic. I want to be the magic. I want to make the magic. So nothing was, nothing is stopping me from this dream coming true and I'm stating the facts we're making it happen and it just kind of threw me off because I it was weird because I felt so proud of myself and so in the moment and like I'm living my dream and there were other people that were just kind of like throwing that away and I was just like I worked so hard for this like what are you what but that's just the biggest advice I can say is if you're going on the college program do what you want to do make what you want to make out of it. Live your dream however you choose. Please don't let it affect you as much as it affected me. And I didn't care because I say do what you love and do what makes you happy. So those people were living their best life and I'm so happy for them. It just threw me off because I just wasn't expecting it. Like I was, I don't, I don't, again, I don't really know fully what I was expecting, but just like all the like partying and stuff, people would go out to like the different like bars and clubs and stuff. And I'm just like, who wants to go to Magic Kingdom with me? <laughs> and there was nobody there. So that was that was just the thing. So to jump back a little bit, I graduated from high school in 2021. That fall, I applied for the Disney College program. And that February Valentine's Day, I found out that my dream was coming true. I had heard from so many people that they I had applied so many times and I figured me being like so young, like fresh in college, like I was, I am, still so incredibly grateful. I made it my first round 
and I made the most of it. You know, this could be the only time I ever participate in the Disney College program, although I would do it again in a heartbeat. I think about it every single day. And that summer, so my summer from my freshman to sophomore year is whenever I did the college program. Now I didn't take any school classes while I was on the college program and in a way I'm kind of glad that I didn't just because you are so incredibly busy and I wanted to make the most of the parks and the classes that they offer and you don't have to take the classes that they offer but I chose to as you'll see here in a minute but I wanted to focus on the program itself because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I was not going to let that go away. So as I said, Disney's my dream, the timing was right, and after completing the program, I want to work there even so much more. Like, my dreams are bigger, the light's shining brighter, I hope. After being there, I realized, like, how much it felt like family and how much I, like, can do one day. Like, the possibilities are endless there, and the amount of people I got to meet was insane. That alone was beyond worth it. Like, I, I just, I feel so fulfilled. And I can wake up every day smiling knowing that I got to wear a cast member name tag. And I can literally cry saying that every single time that I do. Like I can, I can feel the tears in my eyes right now of just like, I was a cast member at Walt Disney World. Like I got to wear the name tag and make the magic and, you know, and I fulfilled that as early as I possibly could. And I'm so grateful that I was able to. Additionally, I said I met people in the college program and the program just wasn't for them and that's okay. So again, don't let social media pressure you into thinking that, you know, it's this big crazy thing or it's the most best thing ever because everyone has a different experience. Everyone I've talked to has different little things to say about it, has this and that, had the best time of their life, maybe just learned a bunch of stuff, like truly a range of experiences but all great learning ones. You should do what you want to do, do what you love, do what makes you happy. With that said, however, one of the things I feel like, like wasn't shown that I made sure to talk about in like my week in the life videos was you work a lot. Like you're there to work at Disney. And whenever I was at my quick service location, I was working, I think the longest I did was like 12 days in a row with one day off and then another like eight days after that. Um, I got very few days off in that specific role. That's just how it was for me. Uh, so some of the times I would like maybe get one day off a week depending on the schedule. So just note that as well, you're like you're, you're gonna be busy, you're there to work. So the story of my role, I was assigned the quick service like food stands at Asia in Disney's Animal Kingdom. I went to my training the first day, they asked who had food allergies and I was like, me. So I remember putting that on my application, but I guess they didn't get it. I don't really know what happened. I went home, I came back the next day, and they put me in the next place that needed help temporarily until they found me a new role. Now I do have to say, I have so many wonderful memories from Disney's Animal Kingdom. I was at the quick service restaurant, Restaurantosaurus in Dino Land, USA. I met my best friend there. I learned a lot there. But health-wise, it was not safe for me to be in that role, and that's what caused the change. So through all those ups and downs, uh, like mid-end of August, I finally got moved to my final role, <laughs> if you will, and that was Main Street Operations. Now, I've gotten some messages from some of you saying, like, you're nervous about the role you got assigned and you might not like it. I want to stop you right there, <laughs> and I'm going to say, give it a chance. Now, before I talk about Main Street Operations for a second, whenever I was told I was going to Main Street, I first of all wanted to cry because Main Street is my favorite land of all time. Magic Kingdom, she beautiful. And I was like, USA to USA, kingdom to kingdom, how cool is that? But I'm no public speaker. I could not like do presentations in school without like, forgetting to breathe or just like crying. Like public speaking is not my thing whatsoever. I was terrified. And Main Street Operations is the guest flow crowd control of the Magic Kingdom for parades and fireworks. And I also got to work at the Town Square Theater, which I miss my Town Square Theater family so much. It was such an amazing role. That's where the Mickey Mouse meet and greet is. So I got to greet so many people for Mickey Mouse and Jack and Sally and it was so, much fun but being out in the crowds was quite overwhelming it took me like a month to 
kind of face my fear. So I went from allergies to facing my fear, which if you would have told me a year ago that I did Main Street operations, I talked in the little microphone to the entire crowd of Main Street USA or the hub, I would not have believed you because a year ago I would have fell into tears and just locked myself in a room. <laughs> to be fully honest, like I would have never thought I could do that. And I'm such a different person today because of it. So I am forever grateful for that experience of overcoming that huge obstacle in my life that was probably holding me back from a lot of things. Am I still a little nervous? Yes. But I got over that big hurdle of public speaking, which is a lot of people's like struggle. So that was my personal kind of big jump for the college program. So I had my ups and downs, I had my challenges, but I took them head on and I did it. Did I panic a few times? Yes, but I did it. And the last few months were highlight amazing. I got to work the holiday parties. It was just incredible. Like every day made it point to go out and look at the castle and listen to the 50th spiel. And I like, it felt like home and it was incredible. And I'm like jealous of my past self right now who got to see the castle and fireworks every day, who got to just stand and give out stickers on Main Street USA. I could cry right about it right now, thinking how much of a dream come true that was. I will forever learn from those experiences and forever cherish those memories, honestly. I admire this company so much and learning all those bits and pieces about it along the way was so inspiring and so amazing. And I carry that with me in all the projects I do now, honestly. Now I do want to quickly mention, many of you asked me about what classes I took while on the Disney College program. Now while I can't directly talk about them, I am actually gonna read off the list of all the classes that I took, just so you can hear them. Um, I do first wanna say though, I participated in a lot of behind the scenes tours where I got to go in very early in the morning and see tours of the different attractions and stuff. So I'm just gonna list those off, the ones that I did. So I was able to attend one tour for each of the attractions offered, except for one of the walking tours, which was for Disney's Animal Kingdom. But since I worked there, I already saw that. So I technically did them all, which I'm so proud of, especially with my dreams and goals and stuff. That was such a highlight was getting to see these attractions behind the scenes. So the Discover Disney classes that I did, which is the behind the scenes tours, was for Haunted Mansion, Jungle Cruise, Carousel of Progress in the 1964 World's Fair, Toy Story Land, Tower of Terror, Smuggler's Run and Galaxy's Edge, Dino Land USA, Kilimanjaro Safaris, the Food and Beverage Distribution Warehouse, the Merchandise Distribution Warehouse, Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular, Rock and Roller Coaster, World of Disney, Flight of Passage, The Seas with Nemo and Friends, The Pandora Walking Tour, and Tech Behind the Dreams, which I was selected for by Walt Disney Imagineering. And then to the other side of that, in the classroom, plus those Discover Disneys, I completed over 90 plus hours of learning. I earned both sets of master's and doctorate degrees, which was at the time the two awards you could get. And I earned both sets of them because I was set on learning and I did it. So I completed the doctorate degrees um, for two of the five week sessions. So I did 10 weeks, but they were like two separate sections. So one of the five week ones was Leadership 101 and the other five week one was Disney Hospitality. So listing off real quick, the classroom classes that I took on the Disney College program, we have Disney Event Groups and Media Operations, Building Strategic Shopping Experiences. I did two of the volunteer opportunities. I got to make these super cute hats and I had so much fun. Um, and hopefully the kids who got those like them. Next up was the basics of sign language, meet character and consumer products artists, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser learning panel, a peek into the Walt Disney archives, Disney media and events, Kitchen Talk with Chef Art Smith, which is the owner of the Homecoming Restaurant at Disney Springs and stuff. He's amazing, he was very funny. Uh, Walt Disney World 50th Anniversary and Heritage Presentation, Walt Disney Ambassador Career Conversation, Event Planning and Operations, Services with Guests of Disabilities Team, Epcot Origins, Creative Careers and Graphic Design, Disney Parks Program Development and Creating Future Guest Experiences, 
Walt Disney Ambassadors present the D23 Expo Experience, Spotlight on Disney Communications and Social Media, Executive Spotlight on Jeff Vale, Val, that's the president of Walt Disney World, he's amazing, and instructor-led sessions on Disney signature experiences. So I think I made the most of it. <laughs> I did a lot. I learned a lot. That's what I chose to do with my program. That's what I chose to do with my spare time was go to the classes, go to the parks, and go to work. And I never missed a minute. I barely slept. And the last month, I was doing so much that I just, I drove myself into the ground. I, my feet hurt. I was tired, I lost my voice, but I had the most magical experience and what better way to end it out than with making the absolute most of every single second. I don't regret any of it and I miss it every day. Lastly, to those joining the college program, you can feel free to message me on Instagram, my email is also down below, but all my videos share all the information that I would tell you anyway if you want to go check those out. Few quick things though, one of the most recent messages I got was about packing for Flamingo Crossings. I was in a two by two room in Flamingo Crossings Village East. I did a whole room tour about that and some packing tips as well of things that I really think that you should bring. So go check that out if that will help you. But again, feel free to message me if you're wondering about any specific items. Although that brings me to one last final thought that I feel would be helpful to know and something I wish I would have known prior that no one said. Um, this happened to people I know as well, so that's why it's good to know. I was lucky to move in to a room where all four of the people in that suite were moving in at the same time. So we were all new, all like fresh and figuring everything out. I didn't know my roommates until the day I got there. So you could be moving in with people that are already living there. For example, me and one of my other roommates left at our selected date and the other two roommates extended their program and stayed. So the week after we left, two new roommates moved in. So they were then already living with people who had already been doing the program. So I feel like that can really throw things off for some people just not knowing that ahead of time. Um, so just know that if you're coming on the college program that maybe don't go buying like a bunch of stuff, like buy the stuff that you need for like toiletries in your room and stuff, but maybe don't go buy like buying a bunch of like kitchen supplies and stuff because if you're already moving in with someone who's already been there then they most likely have those items most likely so just know that ahead of time now this leads me to my final statement and a lot of you asked why didn't you just extend if you liked it so much well i value my education and i wanted to go back and finish school so that i can go back down there as soon as possible and just be there forever that's ideal that's like the end like quick summary about it although I did apply to extend now I said I would stay if I got a different role not because I didn't like the role that I had but I was looking to do more learn more be more immersed in it be more guest experience like I was just I was ready to take the next step like I'm just so just involved that I, I wanted to I wanted to do more if, if I could um so I applied for the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser extension and for the VIP tours extension. I did not get either of them, but that's okay. The timing wasn't right. The timing was right for me, however, to have my 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 first like Disney college program. Now I could have stayed again in the role that I already had, but I felt like it was probably best to just come back and start to wrap up school so then I could just go back down there and do the job that I really want, you know? So while I had fun doing that job, that wasn't the job I wanted forever but I was open to learning more other roles if the opportunity allowed. As heartbroken as I was to leave, facing reality has been the hardest part, truly. It, it's kind of wild. Like I said, I feel like a, a completely different person. I can tell how much I've grown from the college program. And man, I miss not going to like Epcot every night <laughs> and stuff like that. So it's, it's hard and it's stressful like coming back afterwards. I feel like not a lot of people consider that, but here I am <laughs> back at school, learning more to go live the dream in the future. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you all again so much for joining me on my Disney college program experience. I had fun. I hope you enjoyed watching what I could and was allowed to show you. If anyone from Disney's watching this, I'm here, I'm coming, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs>
this just goes to show and is another reminder to do what you love and do what makes you happy. I promise it feels good. <laughs> it really, really does. So keep dreaming, keep believing, keep doing, making the magic. And I will see you all next time. Bye.